Okay, this is gonna be session one of me working with Lexi here, teaching her place. Lexi's had uh, some, some group obedience classes, but uh, this is the first time I'm teaching her place, working with her on place. She's here for uh, my social day, which includes a little bit of day training as needed for the dogs that come here. So, uh, it's gonna be a, little, a short little session just going to start introducing her to Place. Here we go. Place. Let's go. Place. Let's go. Place. Place. So I'm telling her place as she starts to come this way, the leash is leash stays loose if she's committed to to coming over here to get on place. As she heads this way, as she deviates, I'm gonna give her a little bit of pressure on the leash to get her back on track and get her on the place cot. Let's go. Place. So leash is loose, leash is loose, and she's on. Good. So she she learns place, get here, this is what it means. I'm guiding her through and be able to follow through with the leash. How does she avoid uh, the pressure of the leash? She gets on to place. So and then I'm gonna give her a little bit of reward, not over the top when she gets on here periodically. Let's go. Place. I don't want to constantly force her with the leash and drag her. I want to let her, even at a slower pace, show me that she's starting to understand the pattern that, that I'm setting and understand what place means, what I'm doing. So she starts to show what she is learning. Then we can work on having her lay down as she gets more proficient with just coming to the place cut. Let's go. Place. Correcting her to get her back on here. A little pressure on the leash. Yeah, that's technically a correction. This is the right answer. That's not the right answer. I make a correction and she gets back onto the right answer. Let's go. Place. The thing about that correction or this punish, punishment, if you want to call it that, place is I'm giving her direction on the other side of it. Place. Not just correcting for the sake of correcting and punishing for the sake of correct. This is what I want. I'm following through with the lesson, with the teaching. Let's go. Place. So she just laid down. Place. So I'm going to add pressure, get her over. Good. Let's go. Place. So if you have a, a high energy, high drive dog, like a husky, like a shepherd, and you, you have this mindset that they've got a lot of energy, they don't calm down, so you think you gotta exercise them more, and you gotta take them to doggy daycare, and you gotta take them to the dog park to get the energy out, uh, I'm gonna tell you, you're wrong. You wanna tire them out? Do work like this. Repetitive, consistent, very simple work. Let's go. Place. 
reason this has worked is I am keeping her in pack drive. I'm asking her to stay in pack drive and switching her. So it's difficult. I'm keeping her in a mindset. I'm having her work. I'm teaching her. She's got to think through things and slow down. It's not easy for high drive dogs to slow down. Let's go. Place. There we go. Nice. So that's what I was waiting for, for her to lay down on her own choosing on the place cut. Through repetition, it may, every dog's different. It may take 10 reps. It may take a thousand reps, but eventually every single dog will lay down on the place cut on their own if you do this consistently. One thing I'm not doing that a lot of people tend to do, I'm not talking more. I'm not saying place, 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 place. I'm saying it once, maybe twice, and then we're on there. And then it's let's go, get off, and then we do it again. And then we do it again, and we do it again. So now she's laying down, I'll come in and I'll give her a little reward for that. It's because she's in a good state of mind, laying down. She chose to lay down on her own. I didn't put any pressure on her. I didn't ask her to lay down. But this is place. Laying down, relaxed, calm, that's place. So I'm gonna let her just hang out here for a moment and then we're gonna just keep doing these repetitions until she goes on here and lays down all the time. That way this represents calm, represents calm in the storm. And the storm could be any kind of stress, whether it's playing with dogs, whether it's out in, in public, whether it's at home and we have guests come over, whether it's at home and we're cooking dinner. This place represents calm. Whether we're playing tug of war at home or fetch and we can tell her out and then send her to place and be calm and then recall her and get the game going again. It gives us this contrast. Teaching our dogs how to turn off is very important, especially for your high drive dogs and breeds, Huskies, Shepherds, uh, Malinois. So you wanna challenge your Husky, your Shepherd, your Malinois, uh, do repetitive activities like this. Pat walk if you're out on a walk stop every five steps have them sit take five steps have them sit make your entire walk like that i guarantee you they're going to be much more tired than if you just go on your normal walk and for a half an hour and walk one or two miles and come home as you normally do stop take that half hour and five steps stop have them sit stop have them sit stop have them sit i guarantee you at some point during that time when you stop, they're just gonna choose to lay down on their own. Let's go. Place. So I'm giving her just a little gentle with the leash. Now I'm gonna ask, see what she does with a little pressure to ask her to lay down. It should be easy because she's already chosen to do it on her own. If she hasn't chosen to do this on her own, it's gonna take, typically gonna take a lot more pressure to get what I just got right there by barely just tapping the leash with, with my foot, adding a little pressure down, very, very little. And it, was, and it happened very quickly. So, please. So now we can start to see the process that place is laying down. You see her yawning? It's because she's learning. Yawning is a, is a, is a stress indicator. Learning is a form of stress. We're causing changes in the brain. Let's go. Place. So as she gets over here, place. I'm already here in position to guide her down. I'm not waiting until she's on there, then getting in position. I want it to be fairly smooth so that she begins to come over to place and just lay down right away. Come over to place, lay down right away. All right, let's go. Place. Very, very, very little pressure. Let's go. Place. She's already getting into the swing of things. It's already getting ahead of the patterns. Dogs are exceptional with patterns. We have to be consistent with the pattern. 
so that they can get ahead of it and start doing what we want them to do. Place. 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 I wasn't so smooth that time. That's all right. Let's go. We've got plenty of reps. Place. Nobody's perfect with it. Every single time, all we can do is just be as consistent as possible with the pattern that we're setting. The dogs aren't going to be perfect with everything. Let's go. Place. Let's go. Place. Place. So she got off a little sooner than I would have liked her to. So we'll go back to it. Place. Let's go. Place. So as you can see, there's no pressure on the leash now for her coming to place. When I say place, she's turning, following me to place. Eventually, we'll progress this to, I'll start sending her to place. I won't have her follow me to place. I'll be over at a distance and start sending her to place. But first session with, with Lexi, just getting into this pattern that place represents this is where I want you, represents this is how I want you. Let's go. Place. Once she's down, I'm off of that leash and I'm stepping, I'm starting to step away so we create a little bit of distance. I don't need to be right up on her micromanaging or trying to prevent her from getting up. In truth, I want her to get up. Why? Because it gives me an opportunity to do another repetition of learning to teach her again and show her again what it is that I want. Let's go. Place. So she's down, I'm, I step away. Place is a good thing to teach if your dog has separation anxiety. You're starting to give them direction to be calm and you're gonna move away from them. It's a very, very good activity for dogs that have separation anxiety to start to build their, their feeling of security on their own away from you. Separation anxiety comes from a place of insecurity uh, and dependency. So we can start to, nope, you can be here and calm and I can be over here. You're no longer dependent to be right next to me or demanding my attention. You're here and you're relaxed and it's okay. It feels good. You feel safe and secure and calm. Right. So we're going to wrap up this first session introducing Lexi to place. We're going to put her up for a little bit. She just had some play time. She had some learning. So now she can go have a nap for maybe a half an hour, an hour, and just to process things.